All right, so I was gonna show you that I was using the Franklin Covey and I was going back and forth from needing a notebook and I told you guys that I was using the Patch and Planner. So I ended up with still needing a notebook because some of this stuff gets to be very, ex you know, a lot of stuff. You can end up with a lot of pages for everything you're doing for one process or one project. So I like using the traveler's notebook for each of my separate tasks, but I like a running notes book for or a running notes section in my planner. I used to use a one page per day or two page per day, but I ended up starting to use a weekly and the weekly worked out well for me because I could plan my week around my schedule and I could do my to-dos around my schedule, which is why I ended up in the, uh, let's show you here. That's why I ended up in the Passion Planner because I could have all my weeks together and be able to have my dates all in one place and so on and so forth. But because I was in the Passion Planner, I didn't use these. I just brought these over to show you. So you can see here, this is where, this is how things were for me. And sometimes because I am a, you know, I love to color, I would sometimes come back and add stickers or I might add stickers beforehand, depending on what it is, what it is or what it was whatever I was working on I would go and add matching stickers to make it look really pretty so I would just pull out stickers and just throw them in there just to you know make them look good and fit especially if there was a lot of white space because I don't like white space after the fact so I'll come in after the fact and uh, start and add different stickers to look good and to make everything really pretty as we move forward so that's how I would do it. And this here being the part of December, I would go in here and I would uh, just add stickers. I mean, basically that's it. Just nothing major, just add sticks. I was reading a, a book called Make, Make Time. So I would put that up there. And I used these Passion Planner because I was getting away from using Passion Planner towards the end of the year. I was starting to get bored with it. And I didn't have my notes pages because I like to have notes in between my weeks. So I was starting to get bored with Passion Planner because I didn't have a place to write notes. And so in order to do that, I ended up opening and paying attention and seeing this. And when I saw this that was already in my arsenal, I was like, hey, you know what? Let me go ahead and do my notes the way I can and the way I know how, but let's do it the disc bound version. So what I did is I went in and I took my scissors and I, cause I saw somebody online do this. <laughs> I saw somebody else's video. I can't remember. I kept seeing her with her rings and I thought, is, this, is that a disc bound or is she using a, what is she doing there? So I saw that and I said, you know what? I can have my cake and eat it too. I can have a disc bound, not disc bound. See? So when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's why she's able to flip and go to everything she's doing. And she could add her notes in there like I was doing on my passion planner. Because in my passion planner, I would tape a piece of note paper or a note sheet. I would tape it in between the page, even though this is so much nicer to write on. I'm going to tell you guys it is, but there is no place to put notes. I can't even, nothing. <laughs> when I open my planner, I need to be able to start writing immediately because most of the time I'm, I want to record things on that date and then send it to the right place. Maybe take a picture and put it in my notes app or in my, ele my uh, elephant. <laughs> I was going to say my elephant app. So basically that's, and then of course, I always like having all my different pages here that I can open up and go to. So I'd have my week this week, my next week. And of course it'll open up to the uh, information for the goals for that week, which in this case, I do not like Passion Planner for that. 
That's one thing I don't like having this. I like having a plain sheet of paper and I draw my own. However, in Pat in uh, Franklin Covey, they come with the index and on the back of the monthly, they have the master task list. I like this better. Then they have the task on the front of the week and they have notes after the week, which is what I was trying to accomplish with this one compared to this one here. I was trying to accomplish the same thing with Passion Planner, but it just doesn't look as nice to me. See, in between here and then get to the next week, it didn't look as nice, which is probably why I'm having problems with the Passion Planner printout because it, it got cut off here and it it's, it's too little which brings me to show you guys this other part if this makes sense and now I just discovered that I can do that now Franklin Covey you usually lay these over like this so you can see everything but because this is passion planner you can't see the bottom <laughs> So you have to lay it this way to be able to see the bottom. So I can't do that. So I have to actually put it, put my notes in the back. So that's what made me go to, I have these different sections. And like I said, each one of these little booklets can be a major section in here. These are just notes. They would end up between each page here. But the sections of my life would end up being in here. Business. So I have business, so let's start over. So I have my sewing projects. Sewing projects can pretty much stay in here because they're usually on my desk upstairs. But I have business here, business plan, planning. Then I would move on to the next one, which moving on. So we have the business, the YouTube, the Patreon. I have an another notebook where actually I like having Patreon in here. Cause it's not a lot to keep in here because patreon stems from everything that i'm sewing this creates patreon it creates the patterns it creates the etsy it is the reason for the content and it is the reason for the youtube all of this it can happen none of these can happen without this one because I sew, all of this is created. And I would sew no matter whether I did any of this extra stuff. I would always sew. <laughs> That's just, I love to sew. So I did this little thing right here to show you guys real quick to show you what I mean. And this is why I like this ring box. This, uh, I never used this here. I just found it in my stash. I don't know why I bought it. It's an arc. It's arc. And this paper is arc and these everything here is arc it says arc right there so just so you know that's what that is compared to this one here this is an arc okay so basically what I did to show you guys what I'm talking about is I went ahead and took the Franklin Covey and I did the hole punch or the mushroom punch so this can fit in there because I always like to have page finders no matter what okay so I went ahead and I wrote down this to help you guys see what I'm talking about whenever I'm talking. So basically, my business is created because of my sewing. Here I am right in the middle. But you can see I'm wopsided because my sewing has become my business. And so everything that is my business stems from my sewing. Now, I said that these are certain roles that I take and inside of the business roles, I take these other ones and because of that, they are going to create granny. So I'll just put granny, okay? Or let's just say family. So we have family and then I have home management. I have entrepreneur, family, home management. Uh, then I have self-care. Don't forget self-care. Okay, got to get that in there because I almost forgot. So then we have family, home management, self-care, and 90 million other things. So I had all of this written down. And with the sewing bit, sewing itself, 
in order to move from sewing to everything else and it starts like this I have to have my sewing in here because this is the landmark of everything else my sewing projects now I have a sewing binder or planner and I did a view, review on this but they only have one and there's nothing that changes about it <laughs> then for the projects each individual projects I had like the wedding project that's a big project okay so because of the wedding project I had the Christmas project the wedding project is ongoing I will have these on here just like this with all the projects in my face to see what I've done and what I haven't done okay now a lot of them I finished you can see here I finished all of these in December okay so we're going to check that off and we're going to move on to january okay january january all right and so january i'm going to put copy check it all right and these are sewing projects that create sewing lessons or pattern making lessons or video lessons or pattern designs or Etsy sales or a content and YouTube videos all of starts right here so when I sold something for my daughter I would end up making a pattern which I did and I give that to my patrons because it's a project they get to have a project pattern then if I sold this little baby's <laughs> now this is their, you know four-year-old I made a pair of pants. I just drafted that. I'm not worried about giving that to anybody. Same thing with this five-year-old. I'm not worried about making a pattern for that because I'm not a pattern designer for children's wear. I don't have time for that. I just like to design and move on. Then for the uh, skirt for Ard and this crop top for Ard ended up being the same crop top as Jen and the same skirt. So those become a YouTube video because I'm making it four times, four different items. So those become a YouTube video. Whereas this one here, this crop, uh, copy of pattern, I might go ahead and I'm going to, you know, record that. So I'll put this one as a video. So that way, when I go and start working on that, that project will become a video, which means it will end up being put on the video list here in one of these months and I haven't started writing that up just yet then you can see how I did the list this is just a running log of videos here are all the projects that I'll be working on for the quarter so this here YouTube stems directly from my planning and my sewing project basically this binder or this note page notebook becomes difficult for me because I need to have it with me everywhere I go because of course I have personal I have a personal life I do my self-care I do reading uh, I do you know I do my finances and I'll just say financial management because I mean I manage everything okay everything including everything from over here okay so financial manager you know personal self-care is reading and exercise anybody needs to know that i mean that's simple home management wow that's a big one and being a family member so you have family home management self-care i'll leave the reading as part of self-care financial management uh i mean that's the sections that i have so every single section relates to one of those personal includes uh my planner <laughs> making sure i keep up with all my routines my daily planner prep okay then it goes into my personal which includes mental health books read self-improvement weight loss physical spiritual diet meal planning family and friends and activities and so i would manage my workout I would keep a workout log, book log, and you guys probably saw this on Facebook. There's another book I want to read, Essentialism. Then I would go into my master task list. I'll show you guys more of this one later. My master task list is always there. Then my goals, and I'll add that. Now you can see I had this one inside of the 
disc bound. So basically we have personal, which includes all of these. That's four, four areas. Then we have sewing, which includes all of these, all the way down to my AD Land Speaks. It's just something. So this is all of sewing. None of this would be possible if I didn't know how to sew. That's it right there. And then, of course, finance and home. So basically, finance and home. So home finance, which I said over here, is home management, self-care is personal, family is personal, and financial management. So home, financial management, family, and self-care. Boom. Family, friends, and self-care. So basically, um, that's it. <laughs> You, I mean, literally, if you were to stop and look at this, then you could say we have one is family and friends, which is not, I'll just show you here. This here is a good one to go by. This is my roles that I use with uh, Franklin Covey. And because of all this other stuff that I did, I had to look at my shop in the saw so Franklin Covey has a shop in the saw. So then um, that's how that would work. So this would be personal. This would be self-care. That's self-care. That's what Franklin Covey calls shop in the saw. Put on your mask first before trying to save a family member or a child. Then number two is financial manager. Okay. You can't go, can't buy, can't eat without this then number three your home management okay you got to take care of your home so that's one two three um family first god you know it's like uh family first god second so on and so on no god family work or whatever and then we have from there now everything else is family friends family friends relationships Okay, uh, now I used to have extras in here that I would create like a fourth one and I'm just going to put an idea there. I would do mother because I had children. I had to go to basketball games, volleyball games, take doctor's appointments, stuff like that. And so I'm not, I'm still a mother, but now it's considered family because I could just go spend time with them and do that. It's not like I'm having to work to manage their lives. So I don't have to put that on there. These are management, financial management, home management, so on and so on. Then because of the sewing, so I put sewing and from there, sewing is its own arena or role. And with under there, it would be for A, for B, for C, but they all are separate in themselves. So we would be doing patterns, okay? Then would be 4B would be my patrons. And then 4C would be my YouTube. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five. So this is five, six, seven. And then that should be it. So sewing creates the patterns, create the patrons, creates the YouTube channel and creates and the and all of these i would say all of these create the social content that causes me to be online which includes ig facebook and so on i don't do tiktok people say i should but i don't so basically family, financial, home management, sewing patterns, patrons, YouTube. So that's why this whole section here is all sewing right here. This entire section. It's all, you got the sewing first and then you have the sewing business is encapsulated into that. And then you have the patrons, the patterns, and then I forgot the Etsy. So 4D, that's eight. That's the Etsy. Now that I added the Etsy shop because of the pattern. So the patterns would be 1B. So 1A. So yeah, you know, 5, 4A. 
so anyway that's how that works we'll keep it as part of under the whole thing of sewing right there so basically my roles include entrepreneur and this here i could say this created its own entrepreneurship because i would still sew if i didn't do all this other stuff i don't know where i started with this video or how i got here i guess i just need to talk to you guys about all this because i am all over the place but let me finish showing you this here and i'll go into this later but i like this weekly so i tried out putting the passion planner inside of my planner here and that turned out to be a bust because it's eating up right here on the sides but i did think that i would do well by clipping my pages <laughs> and that would be like a ring and a disc bound together because that stays in there pretty good as long as i don't snatch on it okay then i went to this one here to try it out you know because i like the passion planner so good but this one here it it is pretty nice it's really really nice it's small it's compact it's man you could do a lot now this one i, I did a youtube video on this one on ad lens speaks already on how this planner pad works so you guys should be able to look at that but it was a good video i think it was and i added the passion planner uh checklist here because i needed that actually i did not know this actually helps me to have a weekly habit tracker to make sure i'm focused i'm not using this planner per se because i can't find a way to put my patterns patreon youtube sewing all in here because they just do not have any pages over here and it says that this system is not made for full notes this system is only made to get things done that's it it is you want to get some stuff done use this planner if you want to you know if you start thinking say oh i need to go over here to write over here because like my patrons are in here and i need my patrons in here like i said because everything is integrated so i go over here and i'm like talking to the patrons i have a zoom meeting i write notes in here immediately i need to check over here and see if i have time to schedule what they saying or what we're talking about or i need to check if it is scheduled on my planner or i need to make sure that i tell them i have it planned for the next month that's how i do this so every time i do something like if i am in july i need to be able to check back in january to refresh myself on what i did and if i had told them i was going to do something then i would be able to check and see if i checked it off and if i did it at all or if i didn't so that is important to me this is where all of the projects reside they all reside in my apple notes so if they're in my planner they have the checklist in apple notes or i tried trello and i might go back to trello again but it didn't work for me at first but basically this here is how i keep up with everything like this here i still haven't started on this so this is in in there and i have my little checklist inside and i keep going that direction and i i just keep, this one here is the one that's up there i need to sew this one here is done 1223 so basically i know these are the ones that's done and they are in here right here see it's right there those are the ones i'm working on and so they are listed in here so that's all i need but the main one is inside the computer itself that's it you guys i will see you on the other side y'all have a wonderful afternoon a wonderful evening whatever you do when you're not planning okay talk to y'all later bye